This video is brought to you by AC3, a new blockchain for online content creators and educators. What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.2.1 to all devices capable of running iOS 11. You can check for the update over in settings, general, and software update, and the change log reads as follows, iOS 11.2.1 fixes bugs including an issue that could disable remote access to shared users of the home app. Now it was super clever for Apple to phrase it this way, but this is actually fixing an issue that Apple created themselves. A little bit of backstory about this update, last week an Apple News site called 9 to 5 Mac published this article talking about a HomeKit exploit where literally anyone, if they knew how to do this, could access your HomeKit accessories. So it sounds pretty innocent when it comes to smart lighting or maybe a smart ceiling fan, but the exploit also applied to smart locks and smart garage door openers. So someone could potentially use this exploit to get inside of your home, which is a really scary thought and something that Apple obviously needed to patch immediately. But rather than scrambling around to create a brand new software update in a matter of a few hours or even a few days, Apple pushed out a server-side fix for this HomeKit exploit that stopped any issues where someone could access your garage door openers or your lock so you were completely secure after this server side fix went live. The only problem is to fix the issue Apple had to disable remote access to shared users on the home app. So even though in the changelog they make it sound like it was an accidental bug that just randomly got created, the backstory is that Apple created this issue themselves, and iOS 11.2.1 not only permanently fixes the HomeKit exploit, it also reverses the quick server-side bug fix that they pushed out last week. Moving on to the official security content of iOS 11.2.1, of course, listed here is one change for none other than HomeKit. It says the impact, and Apple goes into a little bit more detail here about what the change was actually addressing, was that a remote attacker may be able to unexpectedly alter application state, meaning they could somehow change the state of the home app while you were using it, which could obviously be very dangerous, especially if you do have smart locks and garage doors running. But rest assured, even if you haven't updated iOS 11.2.1 yet, you are not susceptible to the issue anymore. It has been corrected server side, but if you want the full fix, obviously it is highly recommended that you update to iOS 11.2.1. Now, speaking of security, one of the biggest topics lately has been cryptocurrency. It's been exploding and the new A33 blockchain was actually kind enough to sponsor today's video and make it possible. If you are an online content creator or educator, then you know how challenging it can be to develop multiple streams of income and sustainable income. So the goal of AC3 is to help people like you and me do what we do best, which is make content online or educate others. Once you've received some of the AC3 cryptocurrency, you can head online to the portal to exchange it for other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or send some of your AC3 to other people. Right now, the AC3 wallet is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, but there are iOS and Android apps coming in the future. I am totally in love with this idea. I love cutting out the middle person whenever you can, and this is a direct-to-fan relationship. There's super cool features coming in the future where you'll be able to exclusively distribute video over the AC3 wallet and the AC3 blockchain. And if you guys want to check this out, I would highly recommend doing so. Cryptocurrencies are absolutely blowing up right now, so head over to the links down below in the description to get started started with AC3 today. Moving back to iOS 11.2.1 specifically, I want to hear your thoughts on this update because this is a pretty serious issue that was present in a public firmware for a few days. Even during the beta, I would assume for a few months without anyone noticing, which is pretty scary. And with this macOS High Sierra glitch that happened separately a few weeks back, that's two major security slip-ups on Apple's end within the past month or so which is kind of concerning. Usually and historically, Apple's been on top of its game when it comes to security updates and glitches and either fixing things immediately if they're present or not letting things slip through the cracks in the first place. But in the second half of 2017, it has been pretty rough for Apple's security team. We don't really know what's happening. We don't know how these things continue to slip through the cracks. And I'm sure everything's fine now. I'm sure this is probably the last thing we will see until new software comes in 2018. But at the same time, I still have that thought in the back of my mind now, well, even in iOS 11.2.1, is there an issue with something else? I'm sure there's not, I, I hope that there is not, but at the same time, with these two major slip-ups within the past month, 
it does make me think, you know, what if there's something else? Anyway, that is going to wrap up this video on iOS 11.2.1. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel amid YouTube demonetization, I've got some t-shirts available for sale. And if you bought one of those, I would really appreciate it. I've been Sam. Hope all of you are doing great. And I will talk to you in my next video.